Hello everybody and welcome to the second episode of the IS series. In this episode, as you might have guessed, my special guest will be no one else but Love and Rondo's frontwoman, Christelle. If you are watching this video, I guess you have already seen the Love and Rondo's episode from the in-depth series. If you haven't, you can check it out by clicking the link from the upper corner. But without any further ado, let's welcome Christelle. Hi Christelle and welcome to Peter's Stories and Reviews. It is an honor to have you here on my channel. Hello Peter, hello everyone. I'm really glad to be with you for this interview and I'm happy to chat about everything Love and Dolls. First of all, please tell us who is actually Love and Dolls, where is the name come from and what type of music do you play? The name Love and Dolls comes from the first time we started with a CD and we're called Love Lone. So uh, at the beginning, we just used that name, but then we realized that it was not a good name for the CEO, for Google to find us. So we had to add something to the name. So we chose to add something. We chose Love Lone Dolls. So, uh, why that name? Well, it's because uh, the music that we play, which is uh, mainly gothic rock, uh, with a bit of uh, synth and uh, new wave uh, inspiration, uh, so that music is a, a bit depressive, let's face it. <laughs> and uh, so uh, we wanted to uh, put the accent on the depressive style and also I am a very visual person and uh, I thought that Lovelorn was a really nice uh, name with nice letters that will, will uh, look good uh, so that's one thing and then we add doll because uh, the dolls are Bernard and myself well, uh, and also I like everything that is uh, dolls related, let's say, um, a bit cute, sometimes creepy, I like it very much, so the name was really, really good for us. Wow, that's really cool, and I have another question for you which is on my mind since I first saw your artworks. What is the concept of the dolls and where did they come from? You mean this artwork? Uh, well, we first started to work with Gogo Melon, which is a graphic designer, but also a singer in metal bands. Uh, she's from Greece. And uh, I saw what she was doing and I really liked it. I thought it would fit the style of Lowland Dolls. So uh, I asked her and uh, when I checked on her website, I saw that picture. And uh, I identified immediately you know, with the music, with the, the concept, the visual concepts, and I thought, yes, okay, I want to go in that direction. Then we made the album, still with Gogo Melon. Uh, here you have the House of Wonders. And uh, for the House of Wonders, we wanted to keep the same concept. So a little girl, so not only dolls, it's little girl, a little girl with a rabbit, with a cat. Uh, and uh, she's standing in front of a house. And yes, it's really, it's blue. Uh, it's a bit like everything we like visually. So the, the main visuals were set. For the second album, for the second album, we did this, so still blue, with a little girl, but also with a little creepy cute monster. And this visual was made by an artist, which is called Natalie Shaw. And Natalie Shaw is a very well-known artist. She did some art cover for Cradle of Filth. So, uh, I asked her if we could use that picture 
that she made uh, because it was really, really fitting the concept of Japanese robot invasion. You have this uh, Asian style a bit, Japanese style, and uh, a bit like monsters who look like Pokemon. <laughs> and, uh, so uh, she said yes. And that was it. And then for the third album, we did something a bit different because that was a darker period. Uh, no more place for little girls or for little dolls. I mean, the little girl has grown. <laughs> She's now a teenager or a young adult. So we did this uh, for darker ages. Uh, I also work with, with a female graphic designer. Yes, we love female graphic designers here. <laughs> and uh, I really, really liked the photography uh, with the skull, with the crow. Um, and uh, yes, it was really a, a good atmosphere for that last album. And so we go on and you will soon have the opportunity to see uh, the next album cover. Wow, I can't wait! Any future plans or should I ask when can we expect the new album? What can you tell us about it? Yes, we have a new album who's going to be out in 2024. Um, I would have a lot to tell about this album because uh, it's been uh, now five or six years since we haven't done any music. We stopped a bit because I think we were tired, we had no more, nothing to say anymore, so we needed some time off. Uh, and it did well for us because now uh, we are very confident that this album uh, is good, you will like it. Well, we like it. <laughs> and. Uh, we hope you will like it too. It will be uh, in the same Love London style, but uh, with a, a bit of a different concept and with some guests. And I can already tell you that the album will be produced by Max from Evelyn Flowers. He already produced our second album, Japanese Robot Invasion. And uh, from now on, Nothing I can see. Hmm, you haven't spoiled much, but I'm happy for this news and I can't wait to see who the guest artists are. Despite it's not my main type of music that I listen to on a daily basis, but I like very much the Love and Ordo sound and I can't wait for the new album. Thank you, I'm glad that you like the music. Well, I think it's a music that can fit any style uh, that can please everyone. I agree. Okay, it was a pleasure to have you here, thank you for your time and talk to you soon. Thanks Peter for having us and for talking with us because a new era is coming for the Vandals and we can't wait to let you hear all the new songs um, that will come. And one more thing, I forgot to ask you if there is a webshop or a website where we can find you, I mean Love and Vandals. Thank you and goodbye. Yes, of course, we have a website which is www.lovelorndolls.info and uh, on that website you can find CDs and you can also find all our merch and uh, I have to thank you Peter because uh, you are wearing a nice t-shirt <laughs> and you are the one who told us okay uh, you have to do make uh, t-shirts and uh, new merch and it's true that it had been five years without doing anything, so you were the impulse so to, to make new uh, merchandise, so I thank you very much. And uh, have a look on the website if you want your own t-shirts. Thank you very much for following us. See you! I'm happy that I was a bit of influence, or as you said, impulse, for Love and Lordos. Okay, this was it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and you got to know Love and Ordos better. Or perhaps you just discovered them. Either way is cool. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon when I will ask some questions again. Because without questions, there is no learning. Thank you and goodbye.
Sweet Lana.